It's a bantamweight matchup between T.J. Dillashaw and Marlon Marais. All right, now our tale of the tape for this bantamweight scrap. Dillashaw is two years the elder. The rest is roughly identical. Here for the official introductions, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 21 wins, five losses, and one draw. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Tom's River, New Jersey, USA, Marlon Magic Marais. And now for his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 17 wins, three losses. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Denver, Colorado, presenting the former UFC featherweight champion, TJ Dillashaw! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata. Well, a lot of UFC history has been made within these very walls. Good to have you with us tonight as we get underway from the Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. But Ice gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up, Joe. One, two. Now he goes for the single leg. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Well, this is exactly what you like to see. Nice combination of ground and pound punches. Outstanding pressure and activity by Dillashaw. He's in half guard. Dillashaw gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. He's softening him up with elbows. And they both stand up. Punch is blocked. Well, he leaned right into that hook shot, Joe, and that is certainly something that bears watching here moving forward. I know he's confident in his chin, but he's a sitting duck there walking right into the pocket to absorb that hook. He's doing a very good job of parrying and blocking all the shots that are coming towards his head. Left him with the jab. Oh, he oh. cut him! He's got it! He's locked! This fight is dangerously close to being stopped. strikes in this fight. No doubt about it, Joe. But Ice gets caught with that punch. Oh! This could be it right here. He hurt him with that hook. Oh! Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Oh, powerful right leg kick. Effective jab there. Oh! Vicious, vicious punch combinations here. Wow. Wait, 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 wait. Wow. Things just got real interesting. And here's another devastating shot to the head that really does damage. 
And here's another shot to the head that really stuns. Incredible round with several moments where it looked like it might be over. Brittany Palmer in the building. All right, second round underway. At the end of that round, his opponent was clearly hurt. He's going to look to start this round off fast and try to pick up where he left off. T.J. Dillashaw has spectacular footwork. And oh! Body kick, look at that. He's got him hurt here. So he holds on to him here, Joe, not doing too much, just looking to recover. So an interesting decision there is he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. But Isis... Oh, good straight left! This could be it! He just missed with that huge kick. Oh! oh! He's out! Tremendous hook, landed flush for the victory. Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight, landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. Let's see it again. Watch this again here. Boom. So there he is after a monumental knockout turned in here tonight. That is one they will be talking about for quite some time. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Stop this contest at one minute, 12 seconds. <laughs>